Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Thank you so much for being here on the Valder BB Show. I wanted to bring something to our attention. Death from heart disease surged almost 5% at the start of the pandemic. This is the highest level, they say, in almost a decade. I've got, the De- I've got Dr. Dean Corrales here. He's here to explain what everyone needs to know about their heart health. Dr. Corrales, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Dr. Corrales, as a, a, a cardiologist, when it comes to heart disease, what has been the problem during COVID? Yeah, you know, this has been a difficult time, you know, for people in this country. Um, the good news is we're starting to emerge from this pandemic. But what the pandemic has done is many people have delayed their preventive cardiovascular care. So, so they haven't come to the office. They haven't seen their physician. They haven't had their blood pressure checked, their cholesterol, um, their blood sugar, which we know are major risk factors for heart disease. And the concern is, is that if we don't address those risk factors, that you know, down the road, we're gonna see a significant increase you know, in, in, in death and, and cardiovascular events in people in this country. Okay, so you say people haven't had their sugar checked, or their glucose checked, and their uh, um, blood pressure checked. Are we saying they're skipping? They skipped normal visits, or these people who know they have a problem with their heart? Well, I, I think you hit the nail on the head, and there there are two issues. COVID's delayed the preventive care. People were concerned about getting into the doctor's office. Things are now opening up, and things are better, so they're getting back into the doctor's office but people don't often recognize their risk factors for heart disease. I mean, these risk factors are silent. The only time that they have symptoms is when they have their first heart attack or stroke. So many people don't recognize that they're at risk. And and if there's one point I really wanna sort of stress is people need to know their risk factors. If we can control those risk factors, we can significantly reduce the risk of dying or developing heart disease as we get older. So know your blood pressure, know your cholesterol, know your blood sugar. And if you smoke cigarettes, you know, work with your doctor in order to be able to quit and stop smoking. Okay. So what should we be doing to prevent these risk factors? If the risk factors are known, can we prevent them? Well, you can control the risk factors and you can prevent the heart attack and stroke. So again, the first thing and what I tell my patients is, you know, get involved in your healthcare, know your risk factors. When you leave your doctor's office, you should have a checklist. You should know what is your blood pressure? What is your cholesterol? What is your blood sugar? And if it's not optimal, work with your doctor to be able to control those risk factors. Controlling those risk factors early in your life is the best recipe to prevent you from having a cardiovascular event. And many of these risk factors can be controlled, you know, with modest changes in weight and improvement in lifestyle. You know, I tell my patients, try to get out, walk more, put two hours a week, it's not a lot, two hours a week of exercise. And that can just be walking. You know, park your car further away in the parking lot when you go shopping. Walk around the shopping mall, walk around the grocery store a little bit longer. If you take public transportation, get off a stop early or later as long as it's safe and, and watch your diet. Small changes translate to big changes in reducing your risk over time. So again, ha- tell, your, you know, tell your listeners and your viewers, know your risk factors and, l- and talk about them with your doctor so you can control those risk factors and we really can chip away and prevent cardiovascular disease in this country. All right. They're hearing you. What, what you say, doctor. Let me ask you this. I'm going to take this from a social media platform because they listen to us multiple platforms and they want to know when you say know your sugar, what do you mean? So so blood sugar, the normal blood sugar should be about 100 milligrams per deciliter or lower. 
But you know, you should know your number. You should know if you're pre-diabetic or you're in the normal range. You should know if you have high blood pressure or early hypertension. You should know what your cholesterol level is. And you can find that information on, on websites. A great website, you know, for your listeners and viewers is truetoyourheart.com. You know, learn about what your risk factors are so that you can talk to your doctor about what your risk factors are and you could address those risk factors so we can all live longer and healthier and prevent heart disease in this country. What great advice. This next one comes from Instagram. They'd like to know if when you mention sugar, is it the same as A1C? Yeah, that's a good question. So the hemoglobin A1C is another measure of what your blood sugar is over a period of a month or two. The blood sugar that you get is the single reading. Both are important, but again, know if your blood sugar is elevated. It's a pretty simple question. Know your blood sugar, know your blood pressure, and know your cholesterol levels, and then work on trying to reduce them if they're high. And, and again, we can work right. together to prevent heart disease. Doctor, you gave us some good advice. I thank you so much. Please come back and talk to us again on the Valder BB Show. Great. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.